Well, hello, my friends. Today we're looking at First Thessalonians. Now, Paul started the church in Thessalonica on his second missionary journey. And while he was there, he received a lot of persecution and opposition. And so when he left shortly afterwards, he wrote back to the church, uh, uh, encouraging them, knowing that they were still going through these afflictions and persecutions. And, uh, you know, all of us are going to go through times of persecution and times of afflictions and um, whether you love the Lord or not. And it's best to, to, to go through those difficult times with someone that can help you seeking the Lord. In fact, in Psalms chapter 34, verse number 19, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, uh, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. And so I want to say that when you're afflicted, you've got, if you seek God, you've got uh, uh, someone to help you through your afflictions. Uh, uh, we should look at Psalm 119, 67. It says, before I was afflicted, I went astray. So afflictions can be good for us uh, to help us draw closer. When people are afflicted, they either draw away from God or draw towards God. Some people blame God for their afflictions, but friends, I want to say that it's important to go let it draw us to God so it can help us and strengthen us uh, and make us a better person during those times of afflictions or persecutions. Now, in chapter 3, verse 3, it says that no one be moved. Remember, these people were being uh, persecuted and afflicted. That no one be moved by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are destined for this. For when we were with you, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer afflictions, just as it has come to pass, and just as you know. Now, friends, sometimes in their case, afflictions were most likely people that were uh, uh, fighting against them and persecuting them because of their faith. Uh, that could be the case today. Um, in fact, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 10 to 12, uh, through 12 on the Sermon on the Mount, he said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. So there are many people all over the world that are afflicted because of the faith and the Lord is still there to help you. And there's a special place uh, in the heart of God for those that are afflicted. Because remember, Jesus was afflicted. Our master was afflicted. But um, uh, so we're going to face afflictions, but during those afflictions, we must turn to God and we must run to God because he will help us through every difficult situation, whatever your affliction may be. It could be a, a sickness. It could be from people. It could be uh, just life. Uh, uh, it could be a uh, financial uh, situation, but God will help you through every situation. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.